watching Dave's TV. And now today, bringing you another beer review. Take it away, Dave. What's up, everyone? Dave from Dave's TV. Welcome to the channel. No uh, man cave today. We're doing another redneck beer review, as uh, Shane would call it, from Shane's Craft Beer Review. And uh, it's been a long time since we've done one from the back of the old Chevy Colorado Z71. So, uh, and in honor of Shane from Shane's Craft Beer Review and uh, uh, Drew from Beer for Breakfast, Facts for Snacks, and Alan from One Flight Down. Um, I had never dreamed of getting uh, one of these beers from uh, Canada, but it is from Collective Arts. Now, I've had one from Collective Arts uh, that I got from Drew, and uh, this is their Guava Goze. This is a Goza 4.9% ABV. Collective Arts is fusion of creatively featuring the talents of emerging artists through our global call for art. Submit your art using the QR code. So, uh, this is from Lane MacArthur, the art on a can, and it's from, he's from London, um, England. L brewed with guava, coriander, and Himalayan salt. So let's get to it. Super excited. First time I've ever had anything from Canada except for Moosehead and Molson. But let's go ahead and kind of, whoa, kind of spit at me a little bit. What the hell? Big old foam on it. But it is steadily dissipating. I can see it. Oh, yeah, it's getting bigger and bigger at the bottom of the glass here. Um, probably can hear my sprinklers going. It's been super dry here. It looked like it was going to rain today, but it just went on by us and didn't. A couple of drops and that was it. So let me get off the truck here and show you really get a little closer view of this. That's what the head looks like. What the beer looks like. Sorry, I'm looking at my watch so I can make sure it's still recording. A guava goes. Man, Collective Arts. I never dreamed of getting one of their beers from uh, Canada all the way to, you know, South Central Florida. Got it from ABC uh, Fine Wine and Liquor. And I was truly shocked. So let's put a nose on it. Straight up guava. for. Without a doubt. Smells good. I love guava. That's about all I'm getting is guava. Yeah, that's it. Um, smells really good. Yeah, that's it. Guava. So let's try it out. Cheers, everyone. Oh, wow. Get that last drop in there, you know. Chain from Shane's Craft Beer Review always laughs at me when I did it. But, you know, I bought it. I'm going to get my money's worth. Get out of there, dude. Get out of there. There we go. Yeah. Boom and everything. Oh, yeah. There we go. Look at that. Boom coming out. All right, that's enough. Let's get back to the review, right? Uh, like you can see, beautiful gold color, great looking white head on it. It's got some good bubbles in there. But uh, let's try another one. Right off the bat, you're getting guava and you're getting some salt in there too. It's not over salty. So if you don't like salt, don't worry. It's not over salty. Um, but that's all I get is guava in the sour. It's not really, um, not really sour. It's got a little tanginess to it. Um, man, that tastes good. It's a good thing I got about three or four more in the fridge. Wow. This is something that you definitely want to drink 
during the summer. Um, we're, we're in July, probably towards mid in July. Um, I can't remember. I can't keep track. It's so freaking hot here, guys and gals. And, uh, I know Florida's supposed to be hot, but it's unfairly hot. And they keep telling me in Canada it's hot there. I call bullshit on that. Um, I'm going to have to have Shane and Drew and all of them come down from Canada and stay here in Florida with me a couple of days. They're going to want to go back to Canada. I guarantee it. <laughs> but uh, uh, this is good, man. I like this. Like I said, the straight up guava coming through. Um, you get that slight saltiness. And uh, that's about it I'm getting on that. Um, I bought this. For once, I can say I bought it. And even though it's from Canada, they are out of, what did I say? They're out of Canada. I know that for a fact. It doesn't say on here. But uh, once again, that's what the can looks like. And um, pretty good. Pretty good uh, Goza. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but uh, there's a lot of um, variations to how you pronounce that. But it sounds really, um, it tastes really good. Um, sorry, I've had a few beers. I've done a, quite a few beer reviews today and uh, still smoking some uh, pork tenderloins, but uh, really good. Um, I bought this. Would I buy it again? Let me put this down before I spill it. Absolutely. Would I buy it again or I drink it again? Absolutely. Sorry, guys and gals. Um, scale of 1 to 10, 10 being good. Um, man, I'm going to give this goes a damn 8.5. This is really good. Um, I like guava. I like the guava coming through and that slight saltiness coming through. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, but, you know, before we get out of here, I need you to hit that like button. I need you to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can notify when Dave's TV uploads a video. Leave a comment. Let me know if you've had this uh, from uh, Collective Arts, the Guava Goze at 4.9% ABV. Please drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. And cheers, everyone. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Two thumbs up. And we'll see you next time. The old redneck beer.